lanes I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits Action! Welcome to Breaking the Cycle episode 15 Breaking the Cycle is a live show on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of man your daughter would and want I to be. I am totally to not reading this off of a, a, a teleprompter. I am a better teleprompter reader even than the president bidden. Because I am really just talking off the top of my head, not reading lines that it says on the teleprompter. Why were you guys pausing after you did the, the intro? Because she said that she wanted to read the first part. Well, what's up with that? Read the first part. I just, what was the teleprompter? I just said that. These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids mm -hmm. so they can learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves. So when they eventually, mm -hmm. and they will be, are confronted with these life situations, they are not in shock and will have an idea on how to approach it. Wow. Mm. No excuses. Wasn't even, wasn't even thinking that. <laughs> All right, so let's do it. This is Breaking the Cycle, episode number 15. Team, did you ever see? Did you ever see the movie Anchorman? Did you guys see the movie Anchorman? Yeah, we saw Anchorman one and two. It was really funny. But those are—they say a lot of bad words in that show. It's not for little kid children's. Yeah. Seriously. Do you remember the time when he was? Remember how he was like the best newsman, but he only was good with the teleprompter. He would read it no matter what. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what it said then when he read it out loud? Yeah, and then everybody hated him. What did he say? We're not gonna say it. Fuck you, San Diego. What did he just say? Okay. No, you better say flip because it sounds too much like the real thing. Oh. He's flip reading the teleprompter and, it, and he just is only can handle reading off teleprompter and he says, flip you, San Diego. And he says all this other stuff, I think, right? There's more than that, but that's the only part I remember. So breaking the cycle. You guys want a joke? Oh, boy, already? Um, I don't know if I could take one this early in the show. Our ratings yeah. are already down enough because you two froze in the beginning. You two froze. You know that, right? You shut down. You froze under the pressure. You crumbled. Was, it was the internet connection. You froze under the pressure. You should have just taken... Someone doesn't step up. Someone's got to go in and save the day. Someone's got to step up. Somebody. This one's snoozing because she don't... Okay, let's go. I woke up at 520. We're going to 520 today. Awesome. All right. What you got? I once made a belt made of $50. It was a waste of money. Well, no wonder because you made a belt oh, out of $50. But either way, it would waste of money. You know some people spend buy, buy belts that are like two, three, four, five hundred bucks for a belt? One belt. A belt. I mean, like... And then they complain they're broke. And they still live with their mama. They still live in their mama's basement, but they got a $500, $500 belt. And some fancy car. But live in their mama's basement. With their... With, with cheese their, doodle stains on their, Star, on their Star Wars t-shirt, sitting there in their tidy whities playing World of Warcraft. Or nowadays, what's the new version of World of Warcraft? Fortnite. 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 It used to be World of Warcraft. They'd be on that computer. If you look on the video games, you know if you look on the video games, you can see how many hours people played of certain games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people played. If you look up some games, they played average of like 10, 12, 14 hours a day, seven days a week for like two, three years straight. What? Of a That's single a lot of the same of game. That's freaking sick. So let's just say 12 times. Oh. No, it's, I, I, don't know. I, already, I already did that. Pen. So I'm breaking the cycle. You could yeah, see it. Only the Instagrams can see part of it. Up there is the Freak Code, which is the new clothing line, the Freak Code clothing line, no, which is you guys the, probably see it backwards. Which is branching off of the old No Excuses Peak Freak clothing line. Now it's the Freak Code. 
It's the upgraded. There's all kinds of stuff you can check out. I'll put the link down below for the free code clothing. But what is the free code? It's up there. The free code, and we, we talk about it here. We have our own family core values. We call it the free code, and that's why we started the free code clothing, clothing line. It's not about the clothes. It's the clothes that are representing who the hell you are, what you stand for, being a freak, taking your freak banner and stamping it into the ground, letting that mother sucker wave high in the sky, being yourself, marching to the beat of your own drum, and not giving a damn what anyone thinks about you while that freak flag banner is rolling. So check out the link I'll put down below for the freak code clothing line, brand new clothing line that we have that is just releasing. I had the show, the shirt yesterday for Steve Says, episode number 119. You can see one of the shirts. There's tank tops, there's jackets, sweatshirts, sneakers, all kinds of shit being released. But here I'm breaking the cycle. Before we even go into what does breaking the cycle mean? What does breaking the cycle mean anyway? Do you even two even know what the hell? Yeah. We do. Yes, Can what? I finish talking before you cut me off? That is a rude. Guess what breaking the cycle I wasn't means. done talking. Oh. We have this show every week-ish. Ish. Give or take-ish. We have this show when we are around and, 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 and doing it. And it's called breaking the cycle, but you actually even like comprehend like, all right, you, Jesus, relax. You're dangerous, man. You're dangerous. I like them dangerous Iranians or whatever was there I heard in the news yesterday. <laughs> you know, we have the Russian and the freak too. We have to change the name of that show. Yeah. yeah. Cause everyone thinks Russians are bad now. What do you think about that? What do you guys think about that whole thing? Russia and Ukraine and all this stuff. What if the news is just lying? What if they're telling the opposite of what's actually happening? Why would you think that? Because, well, before we didn't believe them, and why would we all of a sudden believe them now? Holy shit. Whoa. Holy. <laughs> Fucking mind blown! Seven-year-old little midget dropping... I just turned eight three days ago. I think it's eight three days ago. A seven-year-old little midget... Mm -hmm. Just dropping some freaking bombs on us. Now, we, we, we're not saying one way or the other. I'm just saying, all right, if there were people out there that you didn't believe when they were telling you about all some bullshit about the, 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 the masks and, the, and, and, and your, the needles in your ass and all this other mm -hmm. stuff that you need to get, and you didn't believe them about that, why would all of a sudden you just automatically believe everything that those same people are telling you about some other situation. There's probably more to the story yeah, than you like, think. what if the Russians are good, it turns out, and the Ukrainians are I bad? don't I'm not saying we think that. We're just saying you have to, like, think for yourself. And th think and, smarter. And not just automatically believe what someone tells you. What if, you know, they, they can tell you anything. And they can tell you anything they want. They and you watch one it. news station, and they tell you there were 350-something deaths. And you switch, you look at another news thing, and they say there's, like, 10 or 20,000 deaths. or Like, it's whatever story they're trying to tell you. So, Wait a minute. Exactly. What shit if does, they're from different shit times? Shit doesn't match up. Yeah, shit doesn't match guys up. Guys ready for another joke. Oh, shit. What do you got? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. What's your joke? Knock, knock. It's a knock, knock joke. What am I supposed to do? Say who's there. I didn't know he was involved in this joke. Knock, he had a joke. Who's there? Kim. I'm going to say Kim who? Kim who? I have to go Kim that rat that I saw wandering around in my house. Get it? Because Kim. Oh my Kim. gosh. I yeah, have rats in your house. These aren't very good. Because they're rodents. I don't even get it. How? I don't. It's. Kim, Kim. Usually you explain, the, like, we get the joke and you explain it and we tell you don't have to explain it, but this one I don't even freaking get. Kim, Kim, and rats are rodents and you don't want them wandering. You're mumbling and no one can even hear you. Because then you'll have to tent your house if you have a bunch of rats. But knock, knock. I don't get it. Why would you want to go. How is that your house? You say knock knock and they say who's there, and then. But what is Kim? I don't get it. I don't get the joke. Do you get the joke? Cause she wants. To... You do. Yes. Cause she explain. Can't turn, turn you always want to explain. Kim. You're like the queen explainer. Explain. Kim. Is K I M. Kill. How is Kim kill? Because in knock knock jokes, you like. You use different words to. Be in the place of different words that kind of sound the same. Kim doesn't sound like kill. Kim? Kill? But all this is is M and two L's. I don't get that joke. I'm going to have to look Whatever. that up. Let's hope we got some better ones coming on later because I don't even get that one. You went from mind blown to okay, so mind blown. Okay, so you guys blown. want a better joke? No. Later, maybe. Later. Let's get into some stuff here. 
So the free code, what is the free code here on Breaking the Cycle? We have our own family core values. If you have a business, a company, a group, whatever it is, you should have core values and you should know your freaking core values. And every company I have, every business that I'm part of has its own set of core values. Some of them are cross company that where, where they just are a core value in all different companies like no excuses, never accept any, never make any. That no excuses is a core value in everything that I'm over really a part of. Values. Yes, over there is the old peak physique core values. But you should have family core values also. And our core values, our first number one is, is, is based off of certain words. You can see up there on the list there, it's all certain words, is discipline. In the core value of discipline is I will maintain discipline as my foundation in everything I do and say, never making any excuses. See, so no excuses is built right into that because there's discipline. Discipline to not bullshit, not half-ass stuff, not make freaking excuses. And staying in the green. Staying in the green. You know what staying in the green means? So you, you yeah. Oh, we didn't even get to breaking the cycle. So you have to both explain breaking yeah, the cycle. Yeah. We'll get to that. We're building up to that. We built, it's anticipation here. Anticipatory. No. So no, what does staying in the green mean? Stay in the green means never get too angry. It's like going through all the lines, just a little bit of everything, but it's like perfect. And you just stay there and then like don't get angry. Don't like... What color, what's getting angry? What would that be? Red, red zone. And don't like just not even pay attention and be in the green zone. Angry really wouldn't be red. Yeah, it would. If you're like controlled angry? No, angry like... Angry is no control. We know P.O.P. is pissed on purpose. That's the very low part of the green where the green's going to the borderline of the red, but it's not. That's pissed on purpose. Some We're all still humans. Some of us are going to get into the red sometimes. So basically pop. Some, some of us are going to get into the red sometimes. This one lives in the red. This one this hey, one is in the... What, what's the other one? Names. What's the other one? Oh, snitches end up in ditches. What else is there? Blue. What's that? Like just la di daddy, lost in the sauce, all happy <laughs> and <laughs> the sauce. <laughs> and just like carefree to the point where you're just losing because you're just so happy and you just are complacent. You know what complacent means? No. Like you're just out of control. Uh, no, happy. no, no, no. Complacent means you're like uh, you are taking it. You're so you're just cruising along in cruise control, like complacent. Things are just going so easy for you, so smooth, so you get complacency. You're just being sloppy. Complacency leads to sloppiness. And in the military, we're saying complacency kills. You know a guy in the project, after I taught this to them, in the project, the, the blue, the red, the green, he got complacency kills all across his form in these big letters after that tattoo. Got Matt, big tall Matt from the project, class number one. So that is discipline. But let's go backtrack a second to breaking the cycle. Breaking the cycle, what does it mean? What does breaking the cycle mean? It means like so. You have to, and listen, this mic is some, and some good high power. You, have to, you came to turn me in from the huh? Not like a little, not that little mouse. So, not like the, not like so. Kim the mouse. You gotta speak up. <laughs> not like Kim the mouse. All right, don't be Kim. Don't be Kim or Karen. Poor Karens of the world. There's probably so many nice ladies out there named Karen, right? I bet you we know a couple of really nice women named Karen. Poor, poor. They just. They're just cursed for life now. Actually, there was a girl named Karen in my first grade class. Who was you guys have talking like that. There was actually a girl named Karen in my first grade class, and she was kind of a Karen. Did you Karen. Snitches Karen. end up in ditches. Well, I mean... But I you said know. her actual name, not even her Karen name. Her Karen name is Karen's. You just said the name, and you just snitched on someone. We don't talk well, about I mean, specific stuff. We wouldn't want to offend Karen. anyone. Her actual name people get their little, Karen. People get their little so feelings hurt. Right. then you'll... Like, All right, what does breaking the cycle mean to you? Well, breaking the cycle means... Yeah, well, breaking... Means. The name breaking the cycle is based off of your childhood, like... So, you didn't have a good childhood, so you didn't keep that when you were growing up. You broke the cycle and made yourself successful and didn't keep that bad life like you had when you when you were little and you... Broke the cycle and got better, and then you stayed like that. Like, and now successful. What? But who's the breaking the cycle to? Me. I. Just you, you greedy little bastard? <laughs> yes, us. I. You have the right one. Good idea. Us. It's us, not me. I. I. No, not I. He said I. Us. Me. Us. I. My pronouns are he, him. <laughs> Oh my god. What has this world done? <laughs> my pronouns are she, her. 
Mine are it was. It that. Was it in pronouns? Mine was. Well, mine is the. Do you even understand is. that whole thing? Do you even understand that? Like what your pronouns are? Mm-hmm. What? Like, if it, how you, what if do you identify as by? Yeah, how the fuck do you know that? This is just sick. Remember at the end of the episode, he was like, I'm who was. Remember? Who was is my pronoun. That pronoun is, it, it is, was, who, be, that, fool. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. So remember we were watching. They can't the- hear you. You gotta speak up. Remember we were watching. We're reading and like. Remember we were watching. Pick up, Kim. Remember we were watching that episode on YouTube, and at the end he was like, "I now identify as a lion." Yeah. Oh yeah, and he was a lion. Yeah, I agree. He's just a bad lion. I'm gonna identify as a goat, and I'm just gonna walk around saying, "Bah, bah." I oh, identify. Goats are cute. You They're know, your favorite animal. Do you know any goats? Do you have any goats nearby? No. No. You. You don't have any goats nearby. Yeah, I'm looking over there for no reason. Are you? Yes, we uh, do. Kim is sleeping over here. You can wake up, Kimmy. What you got? Yes, we do. Huh? What you got? You know what I got. With the goat. You can't see it. You're holding it on by your crotch. Christmas goat. Got loud all of a sudden. That was creepy. All right. Be quiet. He I think we just killed him? Jerry the goat. Well, that's my Gilbert. Gilbert? That's Gilbert? my job. We just killed Gilbert the goat. What you got? No, no, we're gonna have a pet goat. In where the- do you find a dog with no legs? Right where you found him. Because that no, is offensive right. to no-legged dogs. Offensive. No, right you know, where dog, you, left him. you know my dog when I was a kid. We had a boxer named Dempsey, mm-hmm. named after a boxer, and she. I thought her, he had Titan. No, the dog Titan? You mean Tyson? No. Titan. No. I've never heard of a dog named Titan oh. in my life. Kim has lost Question her shit. Question mark. Kim has lost her shit. I thought that's what you said. Like the boy dog? You know? That your dad hated? Major? Yeah, Major. Yeah, so Titan. I had a... Hell, you want to talk about Major? You want to hear a story about Major? Yeah. So we had a dog named Major, a black lab named Major. I was probably... Did you play with him a lot? Did you like Can him? I tell this dang story? <laughs> that interruption or Aries. Mm-hmm. So maybe I was like first grade or second grade, maybe. I don't even know how old. I really don't know. No clue. But one day my dad decided to bring Major to work for some reason. And my dad worked in construction. So it makes sense to bring a dog with you when you're driving a cement truck around New York City. It's a normal thing to do. So he brings Major to work and he comes home without Major. I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened to our precious family dog? He said he was at a stop sign in the Bronx, and Major jumped out of the window and ran away while he was driving Was home. it cold that day? I don't know. And so that's what happened to Major. Major just disappears, never to be seen again. But a few weeks later, we were, we were going to my... It must be cold, because we were going to my grandmother's house, and we usually would only go to my grandmother's house. Cold? Gran- cold. We usually would only go to my grandmother's house. She lived in Yonkers, which is right next to the Bronx. We would only go there either like for summer in the summertime when we had no school or like for Christmas. So it was either very hot or very cold. So we're driving to my grandmother's house, so this must have been either in the winter or the summer, and you go through, sometimes you cut through part of the Bronx, you kind of go through this Bronx area, and and we're like, see a dog running loose, like down like blocks away when we're at a, a stop sign, or a light. Like, oh my god, is that major? You can't tell if it is, it's far away, but a dark looking dog just running loose. Like, is that major? And my father was like, no, 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 no that's not him. And he takes off. So we never, we never saw major ever again. We no. ran away. We don't know. We're... Snitches end up in dishes. I'm just saying the facts I know. We can't insinuate anything. Did you Do you know what insinuate that? means? No. Like hint at something or say you kind of assume that you know. <laughs> Jesus, Asha. Thank you. Kind of, mm-hmm. uh, kind of hint at what you think happened or say that something happened when you're not sure about it. We can only state the facts. Then we had Truth Dempsey. over facts. No. Truth over facts? Yeah. So, truth over facts, science over fiction. Who knows what that's from? Who knows what comedy that's from, huh? Who knows the line that's from? Put a line in there. I will, I don't know, send you something. If you can tell me what, what comedy that line is from. Truth over facts, science over fiction. 
Tell me where that's from. We choose truth over facts. Don't and give we away the contest. Someone can tell me where that's fiction. from. I will I will mail you out a book. You send me your address. I will mail you out a personal development book. If you could tell me what comedy show that sentence is from, that statement is from. What, what if you give them a book that they already have? What if the queen has balls? She'd be the king. Then I don't know what. Yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> so breaking the cycle. It's a family show here. Let's go. Really whole family. Left. Breaking the cycle. What does breaking the cycle mean? And you can't call it Overall. Big, breaking like, the cycle. Build on what she said. Don't just repeat what she said. Like, what else do you have? To, any, oh. Do you have anything to add to that? Or is say it another way, maybe? Or uh, Breaking the cycle means breaking the cycle. That is fucking brilliant. That is brilliant. <laughs> and explain. That big ass dome, and that's what you come up with. What does it mean, just in general? And what does breaking the cycle mean? If, if what does it mean? It doesn't, doesn't just mean as a, it doesn't mean as a family or as a kid. It could be breaking the cycle in anything. What else? Like Apparently, breaking the cycle in buying something. You don't buy something for a while. I guess you could <laughs> sort of say that. Like that, that's hard for him to do. And breaking a cycle could be, you could also break a cycle in a bad way. You could be on a roll of doing something repetitively good, 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 and you break the cycle and you, you screw up and now you don't do it good anymore. You're doing it bad now, so breaking the cycle. But right. breaking the cycle in a good way, right? We are we Hopefully. talking about. No, this is breaking the cycle in a bad way. I'm going to just beat the piss out of both of you every day. <laughs> what we do in crazy time. We have crazy time. Midgy mode, crazy time every night. Our nighttime ritual is a little odd around the Freak family cave. Is before it's time to go to sleep. You should be starting to wind down. But no, 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 no. Little freak shows here. Little nut jobs here. Want to do crazy time. And we're winding up in so Yeah, we wind up. So crazy time basically means beat the freaking piss out of your dad and make him fight for his life. Like, and jump on his back for fun. Like jump and stomp and kick and punch and... <laughs> Choke your dad to where he becomes like scared and has to defend himself for his life. And this one's even more dangerous because this one can sort of tone it down. Are you even on? Yeah, you are. This one could sort of tone it down, like knows, all right, if you're going to punch someone in the face and it's just like having kind of supposed to be fun, somehow it's fun. All right, you're going to kind of pull your punch or maybe just like dink it. This one, no, 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 no. This one's like bam, right in your nose. So, if your guard is down and your hands aren't up and you're not on your A game, you're going to get effed up. That's how we wind down for the night. That's how we get such good sleep because I get knocked the F out. You I'm got hungry. knocked the F out, man. Hey, no name calling. Snitches end up in ditches. You said this one. The next part of the free code. We're not going to go through all of them. but the, energy. The two foundations of the free code are your discipline and your energy. That's like everything. That's what we are decaf. That's what we judge ourselves on every night is our discipline, energy, confidence, action, and freak <laughs> decaf. Rudely interrupted Sorry. with your coronas. You should get the you should get the jab. The jab. You got coronas. Thirsty. You got coronas. Jesus. You're dangerous, man. Dangerous, you and your AR-14. Who nobody needs 30, 40. It was an AR-16. No one needs 30. Stop. No one needs 30, 40, 50 clips. Clips in a magazine. What movie is that from? Or what, what comedy show is that from, suckers? Tell me what that's from and you'll also get a book. I will email you out, email you out a book. I will send you out in the mail a all, book. All the comedy tests you get a, 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 a personal development book. Yes. Yeah. A bunch of them. All right, so energy is the next one. Energy, the part of the free code. That's what the clothing line is all about. It's about living according to the free code, about having discipline and energy. Energy is about I will bring infectious energy and maximum effort into every situation, conversation, interaction, and every room I enter, meaning in the freak show cave here, bringing the energy, basically bringing the freaking fire every second of every second. What's energy to you, little freak show? Energy. Yeah! That's called psycho baby, but yeah. Okay. What's energy mean to you? Energy. A doink. How? You're about as sharp as a bowling I ball. I dinkied you. Thanks. I dinkied you. I tinky you. You guys want a joke? Oh, shit. Here we go. What you got? Hey. How do you fix a cracked pumpkin with the pumpkin patch? Hey. Can the 
is being very quiet here. Chris. Speechless. I'm um, being very quiet because I'm speechless after these these extraordinary jokes that you have. Holy uh, shit. You're Kim that identifies as goat. My pronoun is bat, bat. That's my pronoun. Goat and bat. Wait, you guys want another joke? No, you just did one. Relax. No, he did. Energy. So you have nothing to add to that. That's your oh, deep shoot. words of wisdom. No. Awesome. Energy to me is... Like your day, when you rate yourself every night, we rate ourselves and we discuss it and talk about rate ourselves on energy discipline. Is like on energy is like What do you rate yourself on energy about? What makes you get an energy five or four or three or two or one? How do you rate it? What does it mean? Like is- in my workout, in my day at school, like did I, was I active during the school day? Did I get a good workout in? Did I interact with people? Interacting with It's a good energy? one. It could be if you had interaction in in a show like Breaking the Cycle and you weren't a little Kimrin, Kim Cameron, whatever yeah. the hell. Cameron? If you're sitting here talking like this, picking and your you're toes. Talking, picking your little stinky ass I'm feet. not sitting here ta- uh, 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 all right, picking my toes. All right, you're spitting. You got booger snots all over our nice fancy microphone here. Okay, let's move. That's one joke. I know you didn't just do the your Y word on freaking live camera. People have died for less. Someone did it in the project when I was talking. Oh. When I was talking. Oh, busted. What? Yawned. Didn't end well for the men. Guys, oh God. it didn't end well for the men. Guys, want a joke? No, you just did a joke like 14 oh, seconds ago. So energy, after energy, there's the rest of the free coda. We break down some of these words each week and they just mix into the conversation. Is attack. Also part of the free coda is the mind, is the body, is the mission, is listen, is create, okay. win, okay. Confidence, Confidence, protect, and mother freaking freak. Freak. So let's, I just want to hear what you have to say, both have to say about some of these. What about the the body? What does the body mean to you? Who wants to even talk about what the body is? What does the body mean? Skinniness. Your little bag of bones? Skinniest fat kid I've ever seen. Wrong stuff. Holy shit. Where the hell you get that from? You don't even, you don't even lift as much weights. I'm flabbing it right now. Holy shit. Look at that gun. Gun. Solid. What is body? Send that gun to my body. It's probably going to say body. All right, you're a tool eating bag. Would you like to read no, body? Eating, eating healthy food. It's right freaking there. Oh, I will straighten it. Oh, my it gosh. There is no I'm te- giving you the answers there to the test. no teleprompter. I will oh, yeah, strengthen right. and no build my body. Body every day. Real slick. Without a strong body, a strong mind is useless. Read that again in human terms, please. Without screaming, go. We're gonna hear that again. I will strengthen stop, and stop. I will strengthen and build my body every day. Without a strong body, a strong mind is useless. Hell yeah. Like you. The teleprompter. I mean, there is no Excuse teleprompter. Me? <laughs> we will boot your ass so fast off of this show. <laughs> Uh, that was from the teleprompter. What you said. No, um, we there don't. Is there's no, no teleprompter. There's no teleprompter. I mean, real, I mean, there's no teleprompter. Real slick. Real slick there, Kim. That's him. Real slick, Kim. In his little uh, university uniform. This university uniform? Over there, show up. And you. Oh. That's your university uniform. <laughs> so anyway, the free code is about living this, uh, a set of rules, a set of boundaries, a set of guidelines to live life on your own terms, march to the beat of your own drum, now, we always say don't give a F what other people think about you. But I know you need to show on. I will, I will, I, I will I will silent shit. scream it. Wait, is, silent that, scream is that how Major looked? That black dog right there at the window? I don't know. Let's focus, man. I don't know. I was silent, you know, silent screaming. That's a good one. I've never heard that before. Let's go. I'm hungry, guys. Yeah, we need to fuel. We need to feed the beast. Yes. So breaking the cycle is That's about okay. taking a series of continuous bad habits that were passed down to whether it's generation to generation or it could be bad cycle from your friends, bad cycle of decisions and choices in life that you decide, you know what? I'm going to be the mother effer. That's going to change the game. I'm going to be the mother effort that goes right when everyone else is going left. I am not going to comply and conform to the bullshit that's out there. Do not Comply. How the hell do you know what I'm thinking? Do not comply to the bull, uh, bullshit that you Compensate. don't that you that you don't believe in or that doesn't make sense to you. Use your own dome 
Yes, when daytime. possible. Maybe your carbs are too low, Tip. You need to get some carbs in there. Mm. So that's what it's all about. That's really what breaking the cycle means. It doesn't just mean that, okay, you had an effed up childhood and now you're going to be the one that says, okay, I'm going to change the trajectory of my family tree. That's annoying as shit. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So I'm going to put you inside that cabinet. Didn't you say something? Oh, we're going to talk about that. One time when we were playing hide and seek, I was inside that cabinet. One time I put you somewhere else. I put you inside suitcases for hide and seek. What was the best spot? Oh, remember Oh, on top of the that hiding spot on top of the closet? Yeah. And it, it took him like hours to find you and you kept you kept making like a squawking noise or something and he still couldn't find you because it was like echoing through the ceiling and he just could not find you. That was and, good. And in here, nobody found me. I was like the last one. All right. Well, we got to roll because we got to go feed the beast. We need some post-workout recovery. We got to go eat some damn egg whites and some other stuff. And cake from my birthday party. So don't forget, be be the one to stand up, stand tall, and stand the freak out to break the cycle. Don't just go along with the freaking sheep. And we're not just talking about politics and all this other stuff you see in the news. We're talking about anything. Stop. That's annoying as shit. You're doing that nonstop. For a second, okay, but just do nonstop? That's just distracting. Anyway, I'm going to break the cycle of... uh, All right, we broke the cycle from bad to good, and we're good right now. I'm going to break the cycle from good to bad in a second and show you what that shit means. Do we have turkey bacon? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the frick? I'm talking about breaking the cycle and your answer to that is do we have turkey bacon? Okay. Because I need I am hungry. So go. No. We'll hungry. do this without you. You're just you're just a half ass in it. Are you don't just show up. Listen, we don't just show up and just check the boxes. That's your energy score today is gonna be a four or a three with acting like uh. this. You should be. Uh. I did not do the Y word. You and me. You and me. I I'm did not do the Y word. We're outside after. I was doing the weird. All right. We got to roll. Extreme. Break in the cycle. Episode number 15. Be the one to stand up, stand out, stand tall, go all out and all in on every freaking thing you do. Breaking the cycle. Episode number 15. Take and, them home. Anything you want to finish them with. Like and just what and, 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 and to take them out, we're going to go take them out. out. And to take them out. Take them out? You're going to assassinate them? <laughs> We're going to go with the joke. I made a song about a tortilla. Actually, it's more of a rap. Wow. What kind of... Just wow. What kind of streets do ghosts haunt? Dead ends. They just get better and better. Anything you want to take it home with? No! In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome. And you are fucking awesome. No excuses. There is no. Ain't no motherfucker in this fucking do it like me.